At the opening of training camp, the opening salvo was fired in a nice way from the head coach directly to Radim Zahorna. Good morning to you. Good Friday morning. I'm Dayan Kovacevic of DK Pittsburgh Sports, and this is Daily Shot of Penguins. It comes your way bright and early every weekday if you're into football and or baseball. I also offer up Daily Shots of Steelers and Pirates right where you found this. Actual hockey was committed at the UPMC Lemieux Sports Complex. All the players, well, all of them except for two, were out there on the rink, and it's the two that everyone knew weren't going to be available. Sidney Crosby is recovering from his wrist surgery, and Evgeny Malkin, with his knee surgery, is going to miss two months, according to Ron Hextall's update. A little longer, I think, than maybe some, including myself, had been thinking. And that, in turn, creates... As Mike Sullivan went out of his way to say, opportunity. And it creates opportunity for one veteran, an obvious choice to center the first line in Jeff Carter, but also somebody else, probably someone younger. And here is how Sullivan worded it. And so we've got some young guys that uh, that we're excited about that, that have showed glimpses of, of pretty solid hockey. And uh, and we'll see if, if which which guys can, can step up and... Uh, and contribute to help us win games. You know, uh, Zahorn is a guy that I think comes to mind. You know, he's he's a real good player. He's got good offensive instincts. He's got a year of pro under his belt now, uh, and and he's 25, 26 years old. He's not he's not a, a a young kid. So he has some maturity to him, I think as well. So he, that's one guy that comes to mind. But there there's a handful of guys that are that are in the training camp right now that are going to have an opportunity to, to to step up and fill the void. Did you catch the only name cited by Sullivan in that quote? Yeah, Radim Zahorna. And why not? 25 years old. He's new to North America, but he's not a kid. He's mature. He's experienced. He's got the size that the Penguins say that they covet. 6'6", 220. He's not uh, a, a banger by any stretch of the imagination, but size is size. Size plays in other ways. You don't get knocked off the puck as easily. You have reach. Big means big. Doesn't just mean, you know, number of body checks that you register. Certainly doesn't mean stuff like fighting or whatever. The definition has changed. He's also got, as you heard Sullivan reference, some skill. We saw that last year. It was only eight games that he played in the NHL. But two goals and two assists, and you'll remember that the goals were pretty impressive. I really think he's going to be the guy. And not just because of this quote, but also, and maybe more significantly, that Sullivan set up the lines to open camp by having Zahorna between Jason Zucker and Kasperi Kapanen. Well, who would have been playing there, you know? (laughs) Now, lines change all through a camp, and Sullivan reiterated yesterday that these will be fluid as well. But you had your choice as the coach to align them any way you wanted on day one. And Sullivan, he sent that flare up. He wants this kid to be the one who steps up. And I love this. This portion of Daily Shot of Penguins is brought to you by the good people at the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank, where they're committed to providing food for all of our neighbors in need across western Pennsylvania. They, in turn, need your help. Go to pittsburghfoodbank.org to find out how $1 is all it takes to produce five full meals. pittsburghfoodbank.org. If you're a regular listener to this show, you'll know that I've been trumpeting exactly this for some time. I really hoped that Sullivan and his staff would give Zahorna a chance because there are so many different boxes that he can check for you if he succeeds. He can make you younger. He can make you bigger. He can add to your skill level. He can add to your five-on-five offense, presuming that when Malkin comes back, he drops back into some kind of bottom six roll, fourth line roll, whatever. All of this is a win-win. All the kid has to do, you know, is is rise up. And when he had his first opportunity last season, and not nearly as much was expected of him, he was really just somebody who was brought up in a dire situation because of all the injuries, he stepped up pretty nicely. He looked like he belonged. It felt a little odd, to be honest, whenever he was sent back, even though he was getting crowded right back out of the lineup. This is a good player. This is a good player. And if the Penguins can get out of him 
the offense that they're hoping for. Without needing him to work the power play or anything like that, they've got a ton of guys to use on power play still. If they can just get the five-on-five offense out of him that they need, and Zucker and Kapanen can help in regards to the 200-foot component, then look at what happens to the rest of the lines. I don't think Sid's going to be out for any significant period. I really don't. There's just no way he's on the other rink getting ready with skating drills if he's going to be out for a whole lot longer than the duration of training camp. But regardless, if you have Carter between Brian Rust and Jake Gensel, you've got yourself a pretty nice first line. Then there's the second line. The third line, which by the way also had the cards shown on the table yesterday with Teddy Bluger flanked by Zach Aston Reese on the left side and Brock McGinn on the right, things kind of make sense. This is what you want. Now, the negative here is if Zahorna doesn't succeed. If Zahorna ends up falling on his face, really, things start to get murky. Because now you're moving different people into the center position where they might not necessarily be at their best. Say someone like Danton Heinen, who's, you know, primarily a winger at this stage of his career. Maybe it would be Evan Rodriguez, who Sullivan clearly loves and has moved not only up and down the line charts, but from wing to center and back and forth. That right there would have been your lazy move. That would have been your convenient move that not really anyone could have criticized. Tough situation, need somebody to back check, we're going to go with all defense. But Sullivan didn't do that. They didn't do that. That doesn't mean they're going to hand this spot to Zahorna, but that does mean that they very, very obviously hope he takes it. It would be a really, really, really good thing for this hockey team. When we come back, just one question. Welcome back. It's time for Just One Question. That's brought to you on this program always by Fubo TV. The monthly cost of cable is over 200 bucks. Fubo TV is 65 bucks a month to watch all the same channels, including AT&T Sportsnet Pittsburgh. And right now, just on this program, Fubo TV is offering a seven-day free trial and 15% off your first month by visiting FuboTV.com slash DK. Once more, free trial and 15% off your first month. FuboTV.com slash dk our question our j1q comes from brian who asks did they sew up the hole in tristan jari's glove yet brian coming from someone who's been probably as rough on jari as anyone around here i would have been fine with them basically trading him off for parts after the way he performed against the islanders and i don't say stuff like that lightly i'm not the the hot takes guy. I just can't fathom that seeing a goaltender crumble like that in a playoff series is conducive to having an older, more experienced roster the following year trying to make another run at the Stanley Cup, which is the only reasonable objective when you have a roster that's built this way, and then saying, yeah, that's the guy we want back. But he's here. He's here. And this team Sure sounds like they're going to stick by him. Here's Sullivan on that subject yesterday. Doesn't exactly sound like he's about to throw him out, does he? Nope. This was an organizational call. I am completely convinced of this. And when I say that, that doesn't mean someone superseded uh, Sullivan or Hextall or whatever, that somebody got a call from Mario or whatever or anything conspiratorial. I mean that This is the kind of thing, knowing the inside of how the Penguins work and have worked for a very long time, that would have been deliberated by pretty much everyone. It would have been topic, eh, if not topic A, meaning what do you do with Malkin and Latang extensions and so forth, it would have been right up there. What do we do about this guy? He just cost us not just a playoff series, but potentially a playoff run, because that group of skaters was ready to make a run. I am totally totally sold on that and once they're on the same page this is the way it's going to go it doesn't mean jari's gonna have 82 starts it doesn't mean jari can't lose his job in the first month to casey DeSmith. 
it doesn't mean the situation can't change in a bigger way over the course of the coming months. But it does mean this is how they're starting out. I have said and written and thought, I guess you could say, pretty much every bad thing that there is to share about Jari's performance in that playoff round. But what I'm not going to do, what I'm not going to do is pile on. If you want to, go nuts. I'm not criticizing you, Brian. If anybody wants to, hey, you know, we're talking about sports here. It's not that serious. I'm telling you that I'm not going to do that. I've had months of this now. He's here. This is the approach the organization is going to take. Maybe they'll be right. And maybe a lot of us, myself included, will look kind of stupid or short-sighted in a few months when Jari carries the Penguins on some big run through the playoffs and we're all like, yeah, remember when we were all going to get rid of him and all that other stuff? I'm open to that. I'm always open to stuff like that. Again, it's just sports, you know? These stances and these opinions don't get set in stone. I'm not optimistic about any of this, but I'm going to respect it. I'm going to respect it. I feel like that's fair. I appreciate everybody listening to Daily Shot of Penguins. And let's do another one Monday, the day of an actual exhibition game against the Blue Jackets. 